Last week, the head of the Senate Judiciary Committee, Chuck Grassley, got asked by a very persistent, very bright constituent at an Iowa town hall. His cons the question that he faced was about the controversial dossier that first detailed collusion between the Trump campaign and Russia. Uh, the head of the company that commissioned that dossier, the co-founder of Fusion GPS, Glenn Simpson, he spent 10 hours uh, giving a transcribed interview to Judiciary Committee staffers recently, all about the dossier, 10 hours of testimony. Afterward, Glenn Simpson said he stands by the dossier. He also said, quote, the committee can release the transcript if it so chooses. The transcript of 10 hours of his testimony on the dossier. At that town hall in Iowa, Senator Grassley told his persistent constituent that he was opening to releasing that transcript of those 10 hours of testimony if his committee voted to do that. So here's what we can report tonight. Judiciary has 11 Republicans and nine Democrats. We think all nine Democrats would likely vote to release that transcript. Uh, we reached out to all of them as well as to all the Republicans on the committee. One of the Republicans who isn't the chairman, Senator Orrin Hatch of Utah, tells us now that he would vote to release that transcript. Quoting from a statement that his office gave us, quote, the senator, like Chairman Grassley, believes we should make as much public as possible and as soon as we can. Barring additional and unexpected developments, he would vote in favor. So says Orrin Hatch's office. That's interesting. It means if one more Republican votes to release that transcript, that would mean those 10 hours of testimony about the dossier by the guy who commissioned it, who stands by the dossier, absolutely, those 10 hours of testimony may soon see the light of day, which would really be something. Watch this space. This does it for us tonight. We will see you again tomorrow. Now it's time for the last word with Lawrence O'Donnell. Good evening, Good evening, Lawrence. Rachel. And let me add one uh, sort of senatorial courtesy point to what you just said, which I think makes it a pretty certain proposition that you're going to see those transcripts. Orrin Hatch is the senior most Republican serving in the Senate. He's been there for 40 years. He's actually the longest serving Republican senator in history. And he believes in Senate traditions, protocols, courtesies. He would never have said that without checking with Chairman Chuck Grassley. So you think that Gr Gr Hatch saying that and saying it the way he did means that both Hatch and Grassley would vote to release the transcript? Well, it, what it absolutely means is Grassley has no problem with Orrin Hatch saying that. It doesn't necessarily mean that uh, Grassley's going to join him, but it probably means there are others who will come along. Uh, and also, Orrin Hatch used to be the chairman of the Judiciary Committee. Right. Uh, Chuck Grassley uh, has complete respect for Orrin Hatch in, in this matter, and, and, and Hatch would never, never do something that Chairman Grassley doesn't want him to do in that committee. Can you imagine if we're going to get the transcript of all 10 hours of that testimony all on the dossier from the guy who knows enough about it to say, I stand by it, and you know he just what, spent you, 10 hours defending it? You know what I'm worried about? I'm worried about what time we're going to get the transcript. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's, like, say, Rachel, say it's like, I don't know, 8.30 p.m., yeah. uh, for example, just as a way of ruining your life. I'll uh, just tell you, if it comes out after dinner time on the East Coast, what I commit to doing at a minimum is just reading it out loud on TV. I think for you can do that. I just can. random pages, yeah. just anything. And, yeah. and uh, it, it will be breaking news by definition. If it comes out by lunchtime, we'll act it out. That's if it right. comes out by dinner time, you're just gonna get it you're just gonna get it raw. Okay. Thanks, Rachel. Thanks, Lawrence. Hey there, I'm Chris Hayes from MSNBC. Thanks for watching MSNBC on YouTube. If you want to keep up to date with the videos we're putting out, you can click subscribe just below me or click over on this list to see lots of other great videos.